All right. We're talking about critical number and the critical point. Let's take a look at this question. Find a critical number and the corresponding critical points of the following course. 1. f of x is equal to 12 plus 2x raised to power 4 minus x raised to power 4. 2. f of x is equal to x raised to power 5 minus 5x raised to power 4 plus 5x raised to power 3 minus 1. Number 3. F of x is equal to 4x raised to the power of 4 minus 15x raised to the power of 2 minus 18x plus 7. Alright? Now let's go. Number 1. We have f of x is equal to 12 plus 2x raised to the power of 4 minus x raised to the power of 4. You know, the first step, we are going to find the derivative. Okay? We are going to differentiate. So when we differentiate, we are going to have 8x raised to the power of 3 minus 4x raised to the power 3 okay so we have 8x raised to the power 3 minus 4x raised to the power 3 so 8 minus 4 is going to give us 4x raised to the power 3 so therefore we have f prime of x is equal to 4x raised to the power 3 all right yes now we're going to replace x with x naught so we'll replace x with x naught we're going to say f prime of x naught is equal to 4x naught cube equal to 0. Okay? Yes. As we want to solve for x naught, so we're going to divide both sides by 4. We're going to have x naught is equal to 0. Take the cubic root. When we solve for x naught, we're going to say that x naught is equal to 0. All right? Yes. So the critical number. Of this function f of x is equal to 12 plus 2x4 x raised to the power 4 minus x raised to the power 4 is equal to x naught is equal to 0. All right, yes, now let's go, let's find the corresponding critical point. So, the corresponding critical point we're going to fix or impute a critical number into the function. So, we have f of x naught is equal to f of 0. So when we put, we're going to have 12 plus 2 open bracket 0 raised to the power 4 minus open bracket 0 raised to the power 4. So at the end of the day, we say that we have equal to 12. So the critical point P of 0, comma 12 is called the critical point. Or the point P of 0, comma 12 is called the critical point point all right yes let's take a look at number two number two we have f of x is equal to x raised to the power of five minus five x raised to the power of four plus five x raised to the power of three minus one the first step we're going to find the derivative of this function so we're going to have f prime of x is equal to five x raised to the power of four minus twenty x raised to the power of three plus 15x raised to power 2. Is that true? Yes. So here now, let's do something here. You know, we have 5x raised to power 4 minus 20x cubed plus 15x squared. All right. Let's look at this function very well. What do they have in common? You see that we have 5 in true out. And then we have x squared in true out. Let's factor out 5x squared. So when we factor out 5x squared in 5x raised to the power 4, we're going to have x squared remaining. When you factor out 5x squared in minus 20x cubed, we're going to have minus 4x remaining. And also when you factor out 5x squared in 15x squared, we're going to have 3 remaining. So that when you say 5x squared multiplied by x squared, it's going to give you 5x raised to power 4 and then we say 5x raised to power 2 multiplied by minus 4x is going to give you minus 20x raised to power 3 and then we say 5x squared multiplied by 3 is going to give you 15x squared all right yes now we have differentiated we are going to replace x with x naught and equate it to zero so we're going to have f prime of x naught is equal to we have 5x naught squared 
open bracket x naught squared minus 4x naught plus 3 close the bracket equal to 0 all right yes here now we have 5x naught squared is equal to 0 so here now when you simplify this you're going to say that x naught is equal to 0 and then the terms in the bracket we have x naught squared minus 4x naught plus 3 so this is a quadratic equation so when you factorize we are going to come out with two factors x naught minus 3 and x naught minus 1 so when you equate these two equal to 0 we're going to have x naught minus 3 is equal to 0 and x naught minus 1 is equal to 0 so x naught is equal to 3 and then x naught is equal to 1 so here we have three critical numbers x naught equal to 0 x naught equal to 3 and x naught equal to 1 so we're going to find the corresponding critical point for each critical number so that is we're going to use each critical number to find its own corresponding critical point okay so here let's go their corresponding critical point the first one will say for x not equal to zero so in the first show we have f of x is equal to x raised to power 5 minus 5 x raised to power 4 plus 5 x raised to power 3 minus 1 we are going to impute 0 into this function let's see what we are going to have so we're going to say f of x naught and then we know that our x naught here is what zero we're going to say f of zero is equal to in this function everywhere we see s we will replace it with what zero that is we are passing in zero into the function so we're going to have zero in bracket raised to power five minus five open bracket zero close bracket raised to power four plus five open bracket zero raised to power three minus one when you simplify this it's going to give you minus one so we're going to say that the point p open bracket zero minus one for f of x for x not equal to zero so this point is called the critical point so the point p of zero comma minus one is called a critical point all right yes let's continue let's find the corresponding critical point for x dot equal to one so we're going to impute one into the function so we have f of x dot is equal to f of one so we're going to have one open bracket we're going to have one in bracket raised to the power five minus five times one in bracket raised to the power four plus five open bracket one close bracket raised to the power three minus one all right so when you simplify this we're going to have one minus five plus five minus one equal to zero so we're going to say that the point p of bracket one comma zero is called the critical point all right we're going to say that the point p of one comma zero is called the critical point now we're going to also go further to find the corresponding critical point for the x naught equal to 3 so we're going to impute 3 into the function so we're going to say f of x naught is equal to f of 3 so f of 3 anywhere we see x in our function we replace it with 3 so we're going to have 3 open bracket 3 in bracket raised to power 5 minus 5 in bracket 3 close bracket raised to power 4 plus 5 in bracket 3 raised to power 3 minus 1 so at the end of the day when you simplify this we're going to give you minus 28 so we're going to say that the point p of 3 comma minus 28 is called the critical point it's called the critical point all right yes now let's go the third one we have f of x is equal to 4x cubed minus 15x squared minus 18x plus 7 so let's differentiate i'm going to have f prime of x is equal to 12x squared minus 30x minus 18 you get it right so we have differentiated we have 12x squared minus 30x minus 18 now from here we are going to reduce this let's if you divide you by 6 i'm going to say that 
12 divided by 6 is going to give you 2. 30 divided by 6 is going to give you 5. And then 80 divided by 6 is going to give you 3. So we will reduce it by 6. I'm going to say that f prime of x is equal to 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. Alright? Yes. So we're going to replace x with x dot and equate it to 0. So we will do so. We're going to say f prime of x dot is equal to 2x dot squared minus 5x dot minus 3 is equal to 0. So when you factorize this, we are going to come out with two factors, 2x dot plus 1 and then x dot minus 3. 2x dot plus 1 and then x dot minus 3 equal to 0. So we are going to say 2x dot plus 1 is equal to 0 or x dot minus 3 is equal to 0. So for the first one, we divide both sides by 2. So we're going to have x dot is equal to minus 1 all over 2. So x dot is going to give us minus 1 all over 2. And then on the other side, we have x dot minus 3 is equal to 0. So x dot is equal to 3. All right? Yes. Now let's solve for the corresponding critical point. But we discovered that we just solved and we obtained the critical numbers x dot is equal to minus 1 all over 2. And then x dot is equal to 3. All right? Now, using these critical numbers to find their corresponding critical point. For the first one, we have for x dot equal to minus 1. So, in the function, we are going to impute this value, minus 1, into the function. And then we'll see what we are going to have. So, when we do so, we're going to have f of x dot is equal to f of minus 1 all over 2. So, in the function, we have 4. Open bracket minus 1 all over 2, close bracket raised to power 3, minus 15. Open bracket minus 1 all over 2, in bracket raised to power 2, minus 18. In bracket minus 1 all over 2, close bracket plus 7. Alright? So when we say this, we have 4 times all the values in the bracket raised to power 3. Going to give us minus 1 all over 2, minus 15 all over 4, plus 9, plus 7, equal to 11.75 all right so when we simplify this we are going to have 11.75 so here we are going to say that p of minus 1 over 2 comma 11.75 is called the critical point for the critical number x dot equal to minus 1 over 2 now also for x dot equal to 3 let's find the critical point all right for x dot equal to 3 let's find the critical point so we're going to have f of x dot is equal to we have f of 3 now in a function we put 3 we're going to have 4 open bracket 3 raised to power 3 minus 15 open bracket 3 close bracket raised to power 2 minus 18 open bracket 3 close bracket plus 7 so here we're going to have 108 minus 135 minus 54 plus 7 so when we simplify this we're going to have minus 74 so the point p of 3 comma minus 74 is called the critical point for the critical number x dot equal to 3 all right so here we solved i will obtain the critical numbers to be minus 1 all over 2 and x equal to then the corresponding critical point for x dot equal to minus 1 over 2 we have p of minus 1 over 2 comma 11.75 and then for x dot equal to 3 we have the critical point to be p of 3 comma minus 74 all right yes let's continue let's take more examples for easy understanding all right yes